This is the Windows Developer Preview. And we're gonna boot it up and install Windows Developer Preview. Like Windows 7, uh, it will bring this screen up. And like Windows 7, it will install, make the copies. Once you're finished installing, we're gonna boot it up. And this is what you're going to see. After that, your computer should restart and you should boot it back up again. Next, we should give our computer a name. We are going to type a computer name. The settings. You want to customize or use express settings, it's up to you. And we're going to use express settings. Now we're going to make the username, password, and a hint.
this is the start. This is the start. And if you want to go on to the desktop, you need to click right here. And here you see is your desktop. And of course, with the recycle bin at the top. your icon. Right is the time. Here is the desktop. To the left over here is your icon. Internet Explorer. Down here is the start menu. Start menu actually look like this. Let's see what we have here. And down here we can scroll to the right. Left, right, left, right. And to the right over here we have this. Then to our username right here we can click. click we can click on it. And down to the right. This right here and the time. The time is still the same. Same thing, same thing. Just double click on my com my computer. And we see this. Same stuff. When you, uh, when you click on your start menu, when you hover over your start menu, this time will come off. Over here, we have the My Computer. I'm going to double click on that. And here is what it looked like. C drive, still the same thing. Go back. If you want to right click, screen resolution, same thing. Drag it, same thing. That's a nice Windows and Windows Extended. That is how it look like. Put it the same thing. And you have the Wi-Fi over here. You click on it and this screen will pop up. Let's say you want to connect to that. You get this. This is the test manager, and this is how it looked like. Performance, app history, startup, user, detail. And let's say I want to transfer a file. This is it. This is what has actually happened when you try to transfer a file.
Let's go down to the start menu. And we see the control panel. This is how the control panel looks like. When you click on more settings, this will pop up, and you can see that it's the same. Right click, uh, properties, same thing. And if you want to uh, shut down your computer, then you click on settings. And click on power, shut down, restart. Once you have restarted your computer, you will see this screen come up. It's kind of like the Windows login. Just double click on it. Or scroll up, type in, type in your password. And we'll, we'll, see the, we'll see the start menu again. Just click on desktop. And the Wi Fi down here, we can connect to our Wi Fi. Internet Explorer is still the same. So, what 
RTS program, Internet Explorer. You open this. The URL will be under here. And of course, the reload pin. Okay. Stop. And if you want to lock up. And then lock it up. And it will bring me back to this screen right here. 